We are day two, second half of the Panama Canal. Come on. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go, and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Hola. Buenos días. Buenos días. Brutal wake up. He's come earlier than uh, scheduled, but that's okay. Just rolled out of bed. First steps to drive across the lake. It's 20 miles. We've got to be at the first locks at 10 o'clock. So we've got just over three hours to do 20 miles. Let's go. Day two, second half of the Panama Canal. We're still in the lake that we moored at last night. So we're passing through all these container ships that were anchored here last night and still this morning. Everybody's just waiting for their turn, for their pilots to take them through the rest of the Panama Canal. It's, it's a crazy sight seeing these container ships. Just right in my sight right now, there's probably about 10 of them. And uh, we've got 20 miles to go to pass through the rest of this lake. So, do you know how much time these ships they save? How much time do they save by going through canal versus going all the way around? That depending on the kind of the vessel, the speed okay. of the vessels. But could take here, uh, the average vessel is about 10 hours. 10 hours. From, uh, Caribbean to Pacific. Oh, so easy, half day. Yeah. Yep. And could be about two weeks. Two weeks around the South America. Wow. Okay. So South America. So that's two extra weeks of paying all the crew. So much more fuel, right? Yeah. All the extra fuel. Two weeks of yes. fuel. That's and huge. Yes. Okay. And then also just the time the of getting the, the product from here to there. It yeah. takes two weeks longer. Oh, Carbon man. emissions. Yeah. So for here, I mean, almost like any price they ask for the mm -hmm. canal passage, it's worth it. Yeah. But must be competitive. No. Yeah. Yeah. So what is, uh, what, do you know the rough cost for a big container to go through? Uh, Neo Panamax pay yeah. here about seven or eight hundred thousand. Seven or eight hundred thousand for one crossing? Yeah. Oh, that's insane, man. Seven or eight. Did no, you hear that? Our guy is a dry bulker. Uh, no, our guy is a chemical out, tanker. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the one that's with us right now is chemical right. tanker. But it has yes. to know but, uh, this, uh, this guy will be locking down at the old locks. I'm talking okay. when I say eight or seven or eight hundred, we are talking about new locks. Oh, okay. there's different locks. Yes. The ones you choose to go through, the price is different. No, not for the locks. It's, it's because the, the cargo, the, ca the the capability of the vessel. Oh, for cool. example, a uh, passenger vessel pay uh, has a price. Mm -hmm. uh, tankers or dry bulkers, yeah. other price. Ah, okay, okay. Depending LNG on or, or liquid oh, network. Oh, everybody gets different prices. It's yes. not just the size of the ship. Yes. It's also the the, yes. the actual cargo. Yes. A big container okay. pay as a container. Or, okay. So uh, what is the most expensive uh, type of ship? Is it LNG, liquid and gas? No. It's or is the, it containers? Uh, uh, containers and passenger vessels. Oh, those are the most expensive. Yeah. And those can be up to, so almost a million dollars to yes. go through one time. Yes, yes. That just, that's crazy. We got containers stacked seven high above the deck and all the way down into the holds too. What a sight. I mean, we all know about container ships. We know about how containers work, how everything's shipped around the world. 
but getting to see it, it's just something else. So how long did it take to build this? Okay, from 1904 and was inaugurated in 1914, so That's 10 years. 19, 10 years to build this guy. Oh, that's amazing. Look at the size of this. Uh, we were wondering why he was getting us to move over more and more and more. We're like, there's no one around. And then this massive cargo ship comes around the corner. So he obviously got the uh, call up. We got a big cargo ship coming. So we're going to try to get him to honk. Come on. Come on. I'll be out on that wing station there. <laughs> Come on, baby! I think we're getting it. Gotta <laughs> switch arms. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Got him! Nice one! <laughs> The Gatun Lake Transit is approximately 20 miles long and takes you through the beautiful Panamanian jungle. The advisors want you to keep a consistent speed in order not to disrupt the flow of huge container ships transiting the canal. To think that this whole lake was man-made and the one millionth vessel just passed through in 2010 absolutely blows my mind. Nearly 20,000 French and 6,000 Americans died building the canal. Today, a crazy $1.8 billion in tolls are collected annually. Even the fee just to get parlay through was a hefty $2,250. But so much easier than the alternative, which we are so grateful for. Two o'clock at La Playita Marina. Yeah! But then we have to go shopping. Yeah, but I mean, I think the eye is more important for you than shopping, isn't it? The what? The eye? Yeah, we got an appointment for four o'clock. Where's that What's wrong with the eye? I can't see out of one. I'm being can't like, see out of one eye? Oh, it's real blurry. It's been for it like up. two months, but I haven't had a doctor. I mean, you couldn't see out of one. Oh, that's real, yeah, real blurry, yeah. Even months. when you're sober? Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be drunk for both of them to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just turning up to the Pedro Miguel lock. See. This is one chamber in the lock. Go up one level, and then we go. The next one is called Miraflores. So here we go again. We're gonna tie up to this fishing boat. They're gonna tie to the wall, and uh, we're gonna tie to them, and then we'll come down together. We're finally there. We're finally across the entire lake and uh, we are entering the first of the last locks. We're actually going into these locks with the water all the way up this time, right? Because they're dropping us down. So you can't really see the gates, but over there, there's a gate. Over there, there's another gate. Uh, once we get in, they'll close the gates and then slowly let the water drain out into the Pacific side and lower us down to the next level. Here we go, going down in the first lock for the day. 
So as they drain it, there's no turbulence. So it's a very different um, experience than when you're going up. So two more locks over there, and we're in the Pacific again. Um, I've just messaged all the Patreons. We're gonna do. A, I'm gonna go live on uh, Patreon for them at Mira, Mira, Mira Flores, and uh, they, we can also watch the uh, webcam of us going through. So they'll have a couple of things to uh, check out while we're heading through the last lock into the Pacific. Yee I can never get over like the size of this whole operation. And even these doors, like how much weight that they have to hold. It's, it's one of the incredible marvels on this planet that we're going through right now. Amazing. Oh, nearly lost it again! Huh. Here we go, first lockdown. One more lock just up ahead. There's a tower, that's where a lot of people come to do the viewing of the canal. Last time there was a big crowd checking out the whole operation. Hey, Stoked. There's a lot happening. A Gates are open. We're watching the uh, crowd up at the viewing station there and there's someone, we could clearly see someone hold up a uh, Parley Revival hat. So whoever you were, we love you. That was epic. And the, the gates. Behind the gates Pacific? Yep. Yeah. What did you say? I didn't hear. Behind the gates of Pacific. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guy with the hat's just waving. Yeah. Can you see him on the air? <laughs> we see you brother! I can't believe there was someone with a parlay hat in the audience, in the crowd there. Blows me away. A chip. It's following us. It's crazy, it's crazy. Look at how much space it takes up. You couldn't fit a car between the, that ship and the wall on either side. So we are currently in the last lock before we hit the Pacific Ocean. Just ahead of these gates right here. Pacific Ocean, baby. How do you feel about Tom driving? Ah, he's sweet. He plays Warcraft, so it's just the same. <laughs> Is it just like World of Warcraft? I don't play World of, World of Warcraft. <laughs> One of our Patreons just sent us a photo of the live cam as we were going through the canal. So cool. I told the Patreon group. The canal has these cameras set up. Oh, we're about to open the gates behind these doors. It's the Pacific Ocean. I'm so excited. How do you, uh, oh, how do you describe yeah, being back? back? Now nah, we're back, we're back for good this time, that's for sure. But it's gonna be good, we're heading to college. Let's, let's just not look for any more damage. <laughs> we'll, if we'll it breaks like, this time, we're just gonna we'll see just how far going. we can go. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's gonna be epic. Even um, if the boat, look, the boat looks like it's folding in half, <laughs> it's just, we'll just keep going, keep we're going. Just, we're, not, we're not doing that again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're here for good now, it's gonna be cool. But yeah. Oh, it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. I know my head's still a bit spinning. <laughs> Can't see out of one eye. It's <laughs> spinning. The head's spinning. Hey, man. What's up? How was that? That was epic. What's it like to go through the Panama Canal? Dude. Once in a lifetime experience, for sure. Was it, so like. was it what you were Unless expecting? You're uh, yes, it was everything I was expecting. It was crazy to know that it was almost 100 years old. Yeah. A little over, actually, I think. Tom, how was your canal experience? Amazing. Yeah, it's excellent. It's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool, 
I actually, to be honest, I thought there was going to be more locked. I thought we were like, going to be locking it up. Yeah. I did. I did also feel that way. I thought more locks, more canalage too. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realize how big that lake was. I knew the lake existed, but I didn't know uh, that it would take like four hours to get through it. Mm -hmm. And then only like, maybe like only an hour and a half of canalage. Highlight was Dave crashing his drone. Uh, you know, so. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. We're coming back. We're coming back. Okay. Here, are you gonna catch it? Oh! oh! I may not be a good cameraman, but I caught that action. Wow! Oh, not good. You got cut up, man. Let's see. Let's see that. This is not. Let's see that. This is, I'm, I'm injured. I'm injured. Oh, oh I'm my blood. God. No, we're good. We're good. We saved the footage. It's all about saving the footage. Uh, I will be back in two minutes. I'll be back. Okay. Bye. Thank you so yes, much. Yes. Okay. Whoa! Go! Marina, La Playita and Marina, La Playita and Marina. This is just me parlay. Do you copy? La Playita Marina. We're here for uh, till Monday, it's Friday today. Patreon sale tomorrow and the next day. Can't wait to meet all those guys. And we did it, we're in the Pacific. Coming through the Panama Canal with such an amazing group of people is an experience we will never forget. This was Parley's third transit, but the most memorable, as we were able to share the experience with a few of the people who actually support this channel, so it was so nice to be able to give back a little bit. Crew Morale was at an all-time high. We were so stoked and so excited to meet all the other Patreons who had flown all the way down to Panama for our big sailing meetup.